Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Tomba! On the last episode, we, uh, uh, talked to Mr. Juice right here, except he was over in the clock tower, not standing in the middle of this area, the white crossing, and he told us that we can now, you know, start talking with the people in the Iron Castle right, abo right behind us, and the people over at the Lumberjack Factory over to the left of us, try and find out why the Village of Civilization wasn't working. Found out that the, <laughs> whatever was causing the thing to work, had shut down behind a door that had rusted shut, and we needed a bomb to blow that door up. Surprisingly, one of the lumberjacks had made a bomb for no apparent reason, and we found that bomb, also found the orange pig portal at the same time, brought the bomb back here, blew up the door, started the power, got the, civil the village of civilization to start working again, and got a raft so that we can head back to somewhere that we used to be. But on this episode, also we, yeah, that was about it. But on this episode, we are going to be well, first, we're going to deal with that orange pig portal, because, I mean, we found it. We can't just leave it there for, the, for now. Might as well get rid of it right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's something I have to do anyway. At least that's what, the, that's what the little notice on the PlayStation Home says. I need to defeat the seven evil pigs. Gotten two so far. Okay, let's hurry up. We're gonna quickly try and go. Oh, hello. Stay away from the uh, the boulder. We're gonna try and. Ooh, get him now. Okay, never mind. I won't explain anything. I've already defeated him. Well, <laughs> so that guy said he could beat anyone that came to here. We defeated him in, I assume, less than 30 seconds? <laughs> I, uh, am I, in my, uh, in my initial run, the one that I'm doing so that I at least know what the crap I'm supposed to be doing, uh, that took me two minutes. It was still easy, but not that easy. <laughs> like, that was too easy. Also, I completely forgot what area the orange pig bag came from which seems to be the norm right now I mean I do know that the red comes from the Phoenix Mountain so but I, I completely forgot that Bacchus Village was where the orange pig bag came from and Bacchus Village is now completely purified so we're gonna head over here now this is where we're supposed to go ooh I know it's I know something that we can do because I've been trying to think of what can we do now because I, I expected that to take maybe two three minutes I thought it was. I I got very. I, I thought I got lucky when I when I tried it last time, when I when I beat it on the initial run, but no, I apparently did it too slow, or else I just got incredibly lucky there. So right here, hidden very carefully, we can go into the foreground right here, and we're on a dock. Now this is actually visible on the map, but it's still kind of hard to try and figure out that you need to go here. I mean, if you look right, yeah, you can kind of see it right in between the hands. Like, it's halfway in between where this is and that is. You can see it, kind of. So, why is Tomba here? Hey, what's this village? We haven't even seen that village, but I can't go over there. Maybe I have to... Yeah, maybe I have to, uh... Do something with the pump rocks first, since this is where I got the quest for the pump rocks. Maybe the Tree of Knowledge knows something. Or, yeah, Old Tree Hill. We got a tree of knowledge. We got that knowledge fruit last couple episodes ago, and we still haven't. We can go give that to Baron, so. We'll probably give that to Baron once we finally get back. This is where we use the raft, by the way. Of 
according to that map, I should probably appear next to the haunted mansion. If that that's that's the closest area. Oh, look at that! <laughs> but you're gonna notice a couple things right off the bat. First thing, haunted mansion looks completely different. I mean, before this was green grass, and before it was also kind of thundering and kind of raining. Now it's nice and sunny. The the leaves or whatever the roof has turned a nice color orange. The building looks brighter. And the music is completely different. This is what happens when you purify an area. Kind of like what happened with uh, the lava caves. Except lava caves we didn't really get to see good before. And the after was kind of the same. Except for the fact that it's called the lava caves and there's probably no lava in the caves at all. But first, first things first, while we're here, let's... No, we can't actually go that way. I know there are a couple quests that we can get here. Or at least just one. A couple of new people here, though. First thing, so let's go to the top of the chimney. Well, it looks like he, uh, that's the thief that we helped out in the lava caves with that bag that he forgot. Looks like he forgot it again. But let's quickly enter this store right here. Hello, you're new. This is this is the this is the guy that that thief works for, not the guy that was in the in the jail in the dwarf village like I thought. Okay, well, that's all we can do here. Let's quickly go over here because there's gonna be there's something in the in the mushroom forest that has, I guess, a new a new quest is now available in the mushroom forest because we did we did hear about those yellow one-eyed enemies. From that guy who who gives us that bottle, except we can't we can't actually do that until we purify the forest. Can I please go this way? There we go. But I just want to head over to the mushroom forest. There's a pump rock over here that I want to get. I think I got all the pump rocks that were in in uh the forest. Were there any pump rocks in the forest? I think there was. I mean, in the in the Massacre Jungle, in that one lane, like before we entered the village. Because uh, no, there's not one down here. There is one over on this side. There we go. Take that. I wonder if the previous ones have already been pressured. Take that. Oh, there's plenty on the mountain too. I hope there's. Oh, there's a lot on the mountain. Were there any in the lava caves? I'm trying to think if there were. All right, I know there is someone over here. Right here. Hello, guy. Oh, go. Get, get away. Okay, so, now we got a little train of events. We need to get that bottle from that yellow guy in order to get the tears from the flower. In order to get the tears from the flower, we need that bottle and the rise and shine powder, which we already have. And then we need the tears to fix the charity fountain. So you can see that quest helps quest helps quest. Let's just quickly get out of here. I don't want to be here. Let's get to the, the dwarf village. That's a safe place. That's a that's a friendly place. I'm gonna start laughing. No, that's a crying. That was a random. That was a random mushroom. Just get me home, please. There we go. Okay, we're safe. Because I want to try and get that Baron thing as close to done as possible. 
because I know how important Baron is. Baron is incredibly important. There is a reason why I named him before I, before we should have, because I know just how important he is. He plays a small role in Tomba 2, and I, I am going to assume it's the exact same role he plays in this game. And so, the sooner I can get that done, the better off everyone can be. Were there any, uh, th no, there weren't any chests over here. I think I can really grab them if I, if I could. If they were above me, I can't use my grapple right now because I'm in this, I'm in the crying state. Oh, wait, there's that other chest though. There's that one thing I saw. Let me get on, let me get on crying. I thought I picked Mysterious Mushroom for a moment. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you know what I just realized? I should have grinded out blue, my blue experience bar, while I had the chance at the Mahan Dimension. I mean, all those bird enemies, those, they were perfect. Oh, hello. I think I found a place where I can grind green. Get these two guys over and over again. Oh, that's going to take a while. This is like 40, 40 enemy bites right here. Let's just get the seven and then we'll... I'll probably have to grind these off screen. Or else I can get lucky and get them while... I'm playing the game. There, okay, they just hit seven. There is something right below, not here. Right below. And yeah, what is that? Right next to the chest. Let's find out what that is. I think I have this. Have this. Oh god. Oh god. No. Oh. Well, no. 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 Get me climbing right here. Tell me climb. Ah, water. <laughs> okay, I'm getting out. Screw this. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to go help Baron. Is my mind jumping to random things whenever I try and play this game? It's like, I want to do this, but I could do this very quick. No, let's not do that very quick because it's not taking very quick. This is about as far as I got on my playthrough too. So I, we probably can get one more episode out of what I played before this. Oh, let's, oh, I'm trying to talk to her. I forgot I need to give her the knowledge fruit. What? I'm standing right next to her. I swear to God, this is the person we give the knowledge fruit to. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we need to go get some seaweed. And I'm going to assume that seaweed's for Baron so that he can quickly get his health back. Otherwise, she wouldn't have told us about the fact that seaweed can heal. Also, she also mentioned that Baron might have the ability to fly just because he has big ears. Hey, 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 I take offense to that. As a person with big ears, 
I wish I could fly with these things. <laughs> I actually have huge ears. <laughs> Wearing headphones is annoying. But, eh, I think it's about time to call it quits. It's been 15 minutes. That's pretty, eh, that, that's kind of what I want to aim for for Tomba Length episodes. And we did look, we did a little bit, or by a little bit, I mean quite a bit, uh, quite a lot. <laughs> we, we defeated the orange evil pig in record time. <laughs> Purified the Bacchus village, turned them all back from mice to people, and, well, then we just walked around and saw, saw what the haunted mansion looked like now that it was purified and came here and dropped off the knowledge room for Baron. Also, we walked through the watchtower uneventfully. <laughs> so, on the next episode of Tomba, we're probably going to head back over to, well, the place she's talking about is somewhere we've already been. That, that boat, that one way, that one way boat ride that that guy gives us way over here. This path right here. The one that, when we land right here, this is where that we can get that seaweed. So we'll probably do that. Also, while we're here, they did mention or, uh, that uh, Mr. Juice mentioned the witch that was in the village of all beginnings. So we'll probably stop by that. And then we'll just quickly make our way back this way and then give Baron the seaweed before we start our adventure up towards the 10,000-year-old th uh, man. So... Until next time, hopefully you enjoy. If I haven't sounded nervous already, then be prepared for this area because now I'm in an area, oh God, oh God, where if I fall, I could just fall to my death. Oh my goodness. And so I do not want to fall. Oh good, look at these platforms. They just, these are just asking to be falling down. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. okay, triangle.